Hey guys, Old School Farmer here, and today I've got a short little video. Um, this is a John Deere 6430 Premium tractor. I don't remember which year it is. Um, we bought this off of the state. So, basically, there's an issue on this tractor which has been reoccurring. I've fixed it many, many times. And the thing about it is, oh, God, that was a lovely little tasty amount of cobwebs. Um, so basically, there is fuel lines on this tractor, and John Deere is not trying to fix it. There is no date on it. Everybody seems to be having these problems. The fuel lines on this thing are constantly leaking. Uh, you get about four hours on them, and they start seeping, and then after that, they just start getting worse and worse. And it is a constant battle with John Deere to get new fuel lines. Um, they will not cover it for some reason. And it's really starting to irritate me. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to do with the vehicle, or the tractor, rather. Um, but um, I just, this is a quick little video. I don't, John Deere is not sponsoring this, obviously. But the tractor seems to be okay overall, other than a major hydraulic leak. Back here, also not sponsored by AgriGold. Um, but this little widget here, I'm trying to think. Ooh, it's the sign, sign menace again. This camera does not like these signs for some reason. So this little do our deal here is a hydraulic adjustment. Um, as usual, it doesn't want to turn. It's leaking right around here. There's a seal inside of here somewhere that's leaking, and it just runs down this whole thing. None of this else is leaking. It's just that one, and it's creating God sign, and it's creating this huge mess back here. So, and that's what we do to stop it. Um, so we also got that problem, which I haven't fixed yet. But I mean, overall, it's a very nice tractor. It's just... It's always leaking. I've never had a problem like this. I've never had a leaking, a more leaky machine than a John Deere like this. Um, I also know a friend who has had one of these, and he said it was always leaking. It was way too lightweight. He didn't have the front wheel assist version. This one's front wheel assist. Um, but he said it was always leaking. There was always a puddle of something under it somewhere. And he wound up actually selling it because the computer that is located uh, right there, believe it or not, yes, you see one, two, three, four bolts on either side. The only way to get to that computer is to take the cab off, all of that, take it off. So he sold it. He basically just took it to a shop, they repaired it, and he sold it. So he, he was done with it. This one is also very leaky. I mean, it's just always got a problem with it whether it be some sort of stupid emissions on it or some leak from the fuel lines or a hydraulic leak. It just always is something wrong with it. It's like a carbureted engine. It's always needing to be fiddled with. So as far as the future use on this thing goes, we don't really know. So this is a short little rambly video, but I hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked it, then hit the like button. If you didn't like it, well, then hit the dislike button. Um, if you want to stay up to date with some projects I got going, I can't really move the camera much anywhere else here because uh, we've got a, this is a building that isn't really supposed to be filmed in. But um, if you guys would like to see um, more videos, go ahead and hit the like button. That'll let me, again, that will let me know that you guys like this kind of video. And if you guys want to hit the subscribe button, you can keep up to date with current projects that I've got going. And if you would like to see more, then or get notified when I actually post an update, then you can, um, I'm trying to think here, hit that bell icon, which I think, I think that's the subscribe and I think that's the bell. I, I don't quite remember. Um, but um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.